In this video, we're diving into whether Proton Drive actually protects your files better than Google Drive and what you give up in the process. What's going on, everyone? My name is Eric Hunsaker, and on this channel, we cut through the fluff so you can stay safe online without drowning in tech jargon. If you've ever uploaded something to the cloud and thought, wait, who else has access to this? Then you're not alone. That question is basically the reason that Proton Drive exists. We're gonna walk through how both of these platforms handle privacy, what it's like using them day to day, and we'll even run a little real world test uploading and sharing a big file to see how they actually perform. So let's get into it. The real choice, privacy or convenience. All right, here's the honest truth. Proton Drive and Google Drive are playing completely different games. Proton Drive is trying to be the ultra secure vault for your files. It's all about privacy, encryption, and keeping your data away from anyone else including Proton themselves. Now Google Drive on the other hand is basically the default for most people because of how smooth and easy it is. It's fast, connected to everything, and it lets you collaborate in real time. But all that comes with trade-offs when it comes to data privacy. So this really comes down to what you value more, total control over your files or a seamless workflow with fewer headaches. All right, let's start here with Proton Drive. So if you've ever used Proton Mail or Proton VPN, then you already know the company's reputation. They're kind of the privacy nerds of the internet, not in a bad way, in the way that makes you think, maybe I should have been more careful with my data all these years. When it comes to Proton Drive, the entire thing is built around encryption. Every file that you upload gets encrypted on your device before it ever touches Proton's servers. That means not even they can see your stuff. Your file names, your folder names, everything is locked up. It's not just about what's inside the files, even the details about them are hidden. They call Call it zero knowledge, which sounds like some cyberpunk term, but it basically means they don't have the keys. Only you do. And it's not just marketing fluff. They're based in Switzerland, which has some of the strongest data protection laws in the world. They're also open source and they go through third party audits. So other people can actually check their work. That's refreshing in a world where most companies just say, trust us and move on. So what's the catch? Now here's the part where things get a little tricky. When you build everything around privacy, you end up giving up some of the convenience that we've all gotten used to. Take collaboration, for example. If you're used to opening up a Google Doc and typing in it at the same time as your coworker or your classmate, you're gonna feel like you've stepped into the past with Proton Drive. There's no real-time editing, no live comments, unless everyone's using Proton Docs. And even then, it's still bare bones compared to Google's setup. Another thing is speed. Proton Drive just isn't as fast. Uploading and downloading big files takes a bit longer especially on phones. It's not Proton being slow, it's that encrypting and decrypting everything takes extra time and processing power. That's kind of the price that you pay for keeping everything private. And then there's the whole app experience. The Android app works well enough, but it's not super polished. The iOS app, it has some weird restrictions like only letting you upload 10 photos at once. There are also complaints about the app lowering photo quality or not playing nice with other apps. Even the desktop app, which Proton fans waited a long time for, isn't as clean as something like Google Drive file stream. People have reported it taking up way more space than expected or being unclear about what's synced and what's not. And while the interface looks clean and modern, there's still some friction. Things that feel smooth on Google Drive, like previewing a video or dragging a folder around, can feel a little clunky here. It's not broken, it's just slower, less polished. Google Drive, still the convenience king. All right, now let's talk about Google Drive. You've probably used it before, most people have. It comes with every Gmail account, syncs across devices, and it's basically the go-to for storing school papers, client files, resume, screenshots, whatever. One of the biggest reasons people love it is because it just works. Uploading is fast, sharing is instant, and editing with other people in real time is dead simple. You can create Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, all right inside the platform. Everything auto saves. Everything is shareable, and it's really easy to control who can see or edit what. Even across different platforms, Windows, iOS, Android, it all stays consistent. You can move files, sync folders, back up your photos, all without really thinking about it. From a usability perspective, Google Drive is miles ahead. It's like a Swiss army knife of cloud storage, but for people who wanna do things fast and easily. But what's the trade-off with Google? The big issue, of course, is privacy. Google encrypts your files, but they also have the keys. That means they technically can access 
process your data. They say they don't read your stuff, and that's probably true most of the time, but they do scan data for product improvements or ad personalization. And while they've gotten better about this over time, Google is still one of the biggest data collectors on the planet. When you use Drive, you're part of that machine, whether you notice it or not. Now, another thing, the integration is so deep that you almost forgot how much of your digital life is tied up in their ecosystem. It's convenient, but it's also kind of creepy when you stop and think about how connected everything is. The file test, real world performance. All right, let's test these in a real scenario. We uploaded a three gigabyte video file to both Google Drive and Proton Drive. Nothing fancy, just a typical multi gigabyte video like the kind that you might film on your phone or use for work. On Google Drive, the upload was quick, no weird delays or failures. The file appeared across devices almost instantly. Previewing the video in browser worked just fine. Sharing the file was fast, just copy the link, send it, and it's done. On Proton Drive, upload took longer, not painfully slow, but noticeably slower. On iPhone, the upload failed in Safari, but it worked on Chrome. The shared link worked, but the recipient had to wait while the file decrypted. There was no video preview, just download a button. So yeah, Proton Drive still feels like playing catch up here. Now, if all you need is to share a file privately and you don't mind a few extra steps, it gets the job done. But if you're trying to move fast or share files with clients or coworkers, Google's just way smoother. All right, let's talk about price for a second. So Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes for free. So let's take a look at their other plans here. So their basic plan is typically $1.99 per month, but they're running a deal right now at the time of recording for only 50 cents for your first three months. Now uh, you can go ahead and get on the basic plan where you get 100 gigabytes of storage for photos, drive and Gmail. For their premium plan, you get two terabytes and that's typically $9.99 per month, but they're currently doing a deal where it's only $2.49 per month for three months and you get two terabytes terabytes of storage for photos, Drive, and Gmail. You get 10% back in the Google Store, and you get Google Workplace Premium features. Now, for the Google AI Pro plan, you get the same storage. So you get two terabytes of storage for photos, Drive, and Gmail, but you get the Gemini app with 2.5 Pro and limited access to VO3. You get Flow with limited access to VO3, Whisk with VO2, 1,000 monthly AI credits, Notebook LML with higher limits, Gemini and Gmail docs, vids, and more, and all the other benefits in the premium plan. And you get all that, it's free for a month, and then it's $19.99 per month after that. Now you can also save up to 29% if you pay annually, and these are what those prices look like. Now, Proton Drive, by comparison, starts with five gigabytes for free. Now, paid plans start at $4.99 per month when you pay monthly, and you get 200 gigabytes of storage. Proton Unlimited plan, I don't know why they call it unlimited, because you get 500 gigabytes of storage. That is $12.99 per month paid monthly. And then the Proton Duo, you get uh, one terabyte of storage. You also get up to two users, up to 30 custom email addresses, and some other stuff in here as well. Now you can save up to 25% when you go ahead and use the annual pricing. So that's an option as well. Proton is more expensive, especially if you're just looking at raw storage space. But what you're really paying for isn't the gigabytes. You're paying for privacy, for not being tracked, for keeping your digital life locked down. So which one should you use? If you're someone who needs to work with a team, share files constantly, and you rely on cloud-based tools like Docs and Sheets, Google Drive is probably still the better fit. It's just so much easier to get stuff done. But if you're more privacy conscious, maybe you're storing legal documents, ID scans, health records, sensitive photos, and you'd rather trade a little convenience for peace of mind, Proton Drive makes a lot of sense. And honestly, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can use Google Drive for your day-to-day -day stuff like schoolwork, video drafts, creative projects, and keep Proton Drive for the important private things that you don't want floating around in Google's ecosystem. Think of Proton like a fireproof safe. You don't need to put everything in it, but for the stuff that really matters, it's worth locking up. So Proton Drive or Google Drive? At the end of the day, it's not about which one is better in a universal sense. It's about what fits your needs right now. Google Drive is the obvious choice for people who want something fast, connected, and packed with features, even if it means giving up a bit of privacy. Proton Drive is for people who want control, people who are tired of being tracked or who just want a place to store files without worrying about who might be looking. It's not perfect. It's far from it. But Proton is doing something that almost no one else is doing right now, giving you real privacy without making you feel like you need to be a hacker to use it. So if that matters to you, give it a try. See how it fits into your workflow, even if you don't switch completely. Having a second cloud storage option that respects your privacy is never a bad thing. So if you wanna get started with Proton Drive, we've got a link for you down in the description of this video. This is an affiliate link, which means we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create 
create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online in detailed product comparisons. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.